I don't feel so good. Alright, hey guys, so Infinity War is out. Well, actually, to be honest, it's been out for quite some time now. And... In the end, Thanos snaps his fingers and half the universe wipes out. And now in the movie, they use this really cool disintegration effect. And today I'm going to show you how to recreate that effect inside of Adobe After Effects. Alright, in order for this to work, you're going to need two clips. One clip of the actual subject and then another clip of just the background. So now we want to head on over to After Effects and drag our first clip onto the timeline. Next, we want to drag our um, background clip and we want to put it below the first clip. Now we want to intricately mask out the subject on the top clip. Okay, once you're done making the mask, then you want to move on to the next step, which is to move a little forward in the timeline. Now I'm going to move forward by one second since I want my effect to last for, well, one second. <laughs> Next you want to click on the top layer, hit M, and then click on this watch icon next to mask path. Next you want to move over to the first frame, and now we want to edit this mask. Now you want to edit the mask in such a way so that it just covers a sliver of your face. Now if we move a bit forward, well then as you can see over time the mask gets larger. Now we want to drag the same clip over here again. And then we want to copy this mask and then paste it on this clip. But then this time we want to invert it. Next you want to go into the effects panel and search for scatterize. You'll find this effect and then you want to drag it onto the top clip. Now you want to hit this watch icon next to scatter and for the first frame you just want to leave it to zero. Now you want to move forward however many seconds you want your effect to last. So in my case as we mentioned earlier that was one second so I'm going to move forward one second. And then we're going to change this value to around 100. Now over time, as you can see, this starts disintegrating more and more of my face. But then this cut is way too hard over here. So what you want to do is that you want to click on the bottom clip, hit M on your keyboard. Next, go to mask 1. And then change the feather to something around 50. Now we're pretty much done here, but then one problem we face is that once the effect is complete, these particles just linger around here. And we don't want that. We want the particles to sort of disappear over a period of time. So now we're going to add a keyframe for the opacity. And now you want to add this keyframe around 15 frames after the point where your effect stops. So you want to move 15 frames after uh, the moment where your effect stops and then you want to click on the top clip and hit T on your keyboard and then you want to make the opacity 0 and then hit the stopwatch icon and now move back 15 seconds to the moment where your uh, main disintegration effect stops and then raise the opacity all the way to 100. So that's it. Now let's take a look at the end result. So I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a like and feel free to subscribe to my channel and make sure you watch out for my next video.